WTBC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, to snow or not to snow, that is the question. And for some of us, you'll probably get to see some northern portions of Acadiana. But I don't think we're looking at any kind of big weather event. Uh, some slick spots, perhaps, in the northernmost portions of the northern parishes of Acadiana. As you get close to I-10, you might see a snowflake, but it ain't going to stick. It's just going to melt as soon as it hits the ground. So let's take a look at the latest, what we have uh, going. And we have this low-pressure system up in the Great Lakes at ushering in that deep Arctic air that's going to put uh, portions of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa in the deep fridge. 30, 40, 50 below temperatures, not including wind chills perhaps later this week up there. Tail end of that Arctic front stretches all the way down to the Gulf Coast, and that's what we are seeing locally. And we did see a pretty good shower activity across St. Mary Parish moving off to the east. And here comes the frontal boundary showing up nicely on the radar this evening. You can see the showers kind of coming to an end briefly now in St. Mary Parish. But farther to the north, actually seeing some cloud to ground lightning, so some thunderstorm activity. Hard to believe leave here it is 10 10 in the evening thunderstorms temperatures in the mid 50s and then say five hours from now mid 30s with some snowflakes flying in the air more than likely across portions of repeats parish and then back into vernon parish where we're seeing some heavy downpours as well so this is what we have going on with respect to winter weather advisories the only parishes in acadiana st landry evangeline and allen where maybe a quarter or a half an inch of uh, accumulation may occur on grassy areas uh, but it may not last long the sun comes out tomorrow once it gets to about 8.30 or 9, everything's going to melt. Farther north and east, there could be some accumulations up to one inch possible, and this is per the National Weather Service forecast, and we'll show you what our models are showing in just a bit. And then farther north and east, winter storm warnings where they're going to get two to three inches of snow from Mississippi up through Alabama as well. So we do have some advisories locally, but this is not a big weather event where everybody's going to wake up to a white uh, start to the day for sure. So here we are at midnight watching predictive radar, which is definitely in the bah humbug category on any precip rain across the area, maybe mixing with a little sleep, but uh, the predictive radar trend over the last several runs, keeping all of the real winter precipitation pretty much out of Louisiana, just barely clipping, uh, say, a Voiles Parish and then moving into Mississippi and then mostly rain as you go farther to the south. And then it's over with by six, seven o'clock in the morning. Now the RPM model has been the model of choice for those looking for a little bit more in the way of snow. Here's the front at two o'clock in the morning. It's going to be racing southward period of rain behind it. Then the changeover. Here we are at three o'clock in the morning. We see the changeover across portions of Allen, Evangeline, uh, Western St. Landry, maybe Northwestern Acadia Parish. And then farther to the north in the blue, that's your snow. And that's where uh, the RPM model is going for some snowfall. The extreme northern portions of Acadiana, mainly along and north of the Highway 190 corridor, have we been, have we been pretty much saying all along. And then you get down to the I-10 corridor, maybe some snow flakes or grapple or sleet right along the I-10 corridor, but it's not going to last long. The dry air is going to be coming in and you got to remember, look at the temperatures here still well above freezing. We're above freezing the whole time, so whatever falls is going to melt. So the only issue areas where temperatures may be a little bit closer to the freezing mark would be the extreme northern portions of Acadiana into central Louisiana. Then plain old windy and cold temperatures getting down, dropping into the mid to upper 30s. And then as we get into the afternoon, will be nice and cold, but temperatures will get into the mid 40s, but there's going to be a wind chill and it stays in the 30s all day long tomorrow. High clouds coming in for Wednesday, so it looks like we may just see one morning of temperatures going below freezing. And if these high clouds are thick enough, I may keep the temperatures above freezing. It's been awfully hard to get temperatures in the 20s so far this year, and so far it just looks like a light freeze for tomorrow night, not a pipe busting cold. So here's the RPM model zeroed out pretty much on I-10, but you get to Opelousas, Ville Platte, Eunice, uh, up to Marksville, maybe a half inch or one inch. But this is what the model is predicting total snowfall. What actually sticks on the ground is going to be a lot less, and what's on the roadways even less than that. But there could be some slick spots, uh, northern portions of Acadiana. Farther to the south, we are out of luck. But you might see a few flakes if you wake up at 5 a.m., look outside in Lafayette, but that's going to be about it. And look at the HRR model again. Not showing much is the predictive radar model uh, telling us that we are completely out of luck, but somewhere in between the two models, 
the truth will probably lie. So as we go through tomorrow morning, notice the temperatures even in Ville Platte still not near freezing, but Alexandria will be. That's where we could have uh, the icier conditions and not icy, but snowy or slippery conditions. There's not going to be any black ice or any freezing rain with this event. Temperatures get into the 40s. Wind chills stay in the 30s through the afternoon. Temperatures top out in the mid 40s. Then tomorrow night, upper 20s, lower 30s, depending on that high cloud cover. And then as we head into Wednesday afternoon, still chilly with temperatures in the 40s, getting into the lower to mid 50s for the afternoon, but plenty of high clouds and essentially dry. So let's summarize everything. Snow accumulation. Uh, well, we'll say a slight to maybe a moderate chance, mainly for northern parishes, bridges and overpasses. Will they be hazardous? Very slight chance for those northern parishes, not I-10. Then road conditions uh, should be all right overall because temperatures should be above the freezing mark and seeing some flakes say along the I-10 corridor southward will give you <laughs> throwing you a bone here going for a moderate chance, but uh, it may be a little bit less than that. So not something that I'm going to stay up for till four or five in the clock in the morning for for sure. I'm going to sleep through this one. So showers after midnight brief change over to flurries before daybreak. At least we get to show you the little snow icons there. 35 the morning low 46 the high tomorrow It's going to be a windy and cold day feeling like winter for sure. Chilly day for Wednesday. Thursday we start to warm up and looky here pushing 70 degrees Friday and we will be in the low to mid 70s for several days before we see another chill down and that will come to the end of next week. So there you go. Chance of snow, mm -hmm. light freeze, 70s for the all weekend. In there. It's all in there. Yeah. It's all in there and that's the way it goes. Late January into February usually around here. All right, thanks, Rob.